hello student now we are going to discuss about the subtraction of integer it is the third part of the video materials what is in this video first recall about the previous video where we study subtraction of integers using number line second subtraction of bigger integers without using number line some examples of subtraction example first subtract plus 5 minus minus 3 here some steps we have need to follow first change the subtraction problem into addition problem and second change the sign of subtrahend from positive to negative and negative to positive here now we change the subtraction problem into addition problem and sign of subtrahend will change from negative to positive now your subtraction problem has changed into the addition problem so we follow all the addition rule here plus 5 it means move to the right side so we move 1 2 3 4 now second is plus 3 so we move right side again from 1 2 3 at the end we reach at point 8 hence plus 5 minus minus 3 equal to plus 8 here example number 2 find minus 5 minus minus 4 so firstly change the subtraction problem into addition problem then change the sign of subtrahend from positive to negative and negative to positive then follow the sum addition rule what is the addition rule is here first rule is if both integers have same sign then we add both and if both integers have different sign then we subtract both and last sign of answer will depend upon the greatest number so minus 5 and minus minus 4 equal to minus 5 plus plus 4 now your subtraction problem have changed into the addition problem so we follow all the addition rule so here one is negative integer and one is positive integer so we know that if one is positive and one is negative then we subtract so 5 minus 4 equal to 1 but sign of answer will depend upon the greatest number 5 is greater than 4 sign of 5 is minus so answer will be in minus now example number 3 subtract minus 3 minus plus 5 so here also we follow some step first step is change the subtraction problem into addition problem and step 2 change the sign of subtrahend from positive to negative and negative to positive then your subtraction problem will be changed into addition problem then Minus three minus plus five equal to minus three plus minus five. Now your subtraction problem have changed into the addition problem. So we follow all the addition rule. Then minus three plus minus five equal to what? Here both integer have same sign. Then we add both five and three equal to eight. So sign of answer will depend upon the greatest number. 5 is greater than 3 sin of 5 is minus so answer will be in minus so answer is minus 3 plus minus 5 equal to minus 8 now example number 4 subtract 
plus 3 minus plus 5. Again, we change the subtraction problem into addition problem and change the sign of subtrahend from positive to negative and negative to positive. Then your subtraction problem will change. Then we have need to follow the addition rule. Here plus 3 plus minus 5 equal to what? Then 1 is positive and 1 is negative. It means both integers have different sign. Then we subtract both. And sign of answer will depend upon the greatest number. So 5 minus 3 equal to 2. But sign of 5 is minus. So answer will be in minus. Now, using the following example, we are going to subtract the bigger integers. Example question number first, subtract plus 265 from 365. Then 365 minus 265, here firstly we change the subtraction problem into addition problem and sign of subtrahend will change into from positive to negative then for if both integer have different sign then we subtract both we subtract both 365 minus 265 equal to 100 but sign of answer will depend upon the greatest number then plus 365 minus 265 equal to plus 100. Why here is plus? Because 365 is greater than 265 and sign of 365 is plus. So, answer will be in plus. Now, question number 2. Subtract minus 537 from minus 247. Then, we will change the subtraction problem from into addition problem and sign of subtrahend change from negative to positive then both integers have different sign one is positive and one is negative then we subtract both 537 minus 247 equal to 290 but sign of answer will depend upon the greater number here 537 is greater than 247 and sign of 537 is plus so answer will be in plus now next subtract minus 549 from plus 341 then solution is plus 341 minus minus 549 here again we change the subtraction problem into addition problem and sign of subtrahend will change from negative to positive. Then if both integer have same sign then we add both. So 341 plus 549 equal to 890 but sign of answer will depend upon the greater number here 549 is greater than 341 but sign of 541 is plus so answer will be in plus question number 4 subtract plus 327 from minus 59 minus 59 minus plus 327 equal to minus 59 plus minus 327 here again we change the subtraction problem into addition problem and sign of subtrahend from positive to negative step first if both integer have same sign then we add both then 327 plus 59 equal to 386 but sign of answer will depend upon the sign of greater number then 327 is greater than 59 sign of answer will be minus because 300 sign of 327 is minus 
थैंक यू